So looking at this piece, if I just go by the natural curvature, I would be basically limited to about this length, uh, which is a rather stubby thing. So I might extend that a little bit and see if I can kind of cheat my way around this, because here's another bend. I probably want to go with that. Hmm. Choices, choices. So YouTube recently made some more changes. Uh, apparently they had to with regards to child privacy. And so I had to rate either videos individually or my channel. If, if it's made, <laughs> you know, intended for kids. And I'm like, yeah, right, bro. No offense to anybody who likes children, but I don't. And I want nothing to do with them, and this is not for them, so... You know. Go play some Fortnite, kitties. You're not welcome here. <laughs> this is not very stable, I just noticed. <laughs> not very stable at all, but we got it. I could do this a lot faster by using the chainsaw, but is it worth it for this? At the same time, having an excuse to use the chainsaw, I'll take it. I'm not going to put on protective traps just for this one cut, but be aware I'm not being a role model here. You should really always use protection when using a chainsaw, even if it's just one cut. I'm just being a dumbass here, so... There we go. Sorry about the low production quality of this video. I have a whole lot of video ideas on my to-do list, but they all require more time than I have today. So I gotta get some stuff done and might as well try to turn it into a halfway entertaining experience for you. I mean, what am I saying? Of course, this is, you're 100% entertained, you hear me? There's not a single complaint to be had right now, you plebs. <laughs> the smart way to do this would be to get a wheelbarrow. We don't have a wheelbarrow yet. But I'm just going to treat this as exercise, lift some logs, and yeah, so this was a tree that was uh, leaning against that birch over there rather precariously, came down, you know, got uprooted during the storm, you know, who won. All right, the logistics of carrying as many logs as possible by hand. Okay, as soon as I got this sucker, I can get the other one. There's plenty of exercise to be had here. Too bad I've been eating more than usual. So, um, yeah, it doesn't show yet. I guess it's actually debatable how much harder this is compared to using a wheelbarrow or something, because to get that up that hill. And uh, that is also not the easiest. So maybe going multiple times isn't super terrible right now. Now, of course, a smart way would be a tractor. But where is the fun in that? Ow. Impale my shin on a stick, because that's fun. All right, one. I will get these on my shoulders, one way or another, come on. Okay. Well then, did you hear that? That sounded like a gunshot. I got one on the shoulder, the other under the arm. And of course, exactly the wrong way around. The heavier one is under my arm, the lighter one is on my shoulder. Yay for efficiency. What on earth is that noise in the distance? Really? I did it again? After pointing that out the first time, I have to run right back into it with my leg. Uh, there's probably professional carrying and loading techniques for stuff like this, but I don't know. I'm just bumbling my way through it, and that's fine. It's all a learning process, right? It's all about the experience. 
except that if you do something wrong for 10 years, you have lots of experience, but you're still wrong, you know? There's a, there's a limit to how valuable experience is, because you can be an extremely experienced fool, you're still a fool, you know? You know, that's why I kind of agree with those people who are in favor of a maximum age limit for politicians. Like, for, for two, two main reasons. It's not just the idea that they, you know, that there's cognitive decline in old age. This is a very individual thing, of course. Not everybody degrades a lot, necessarily. But, of course, they're not going to be quite as quite as mentally acute as they were, say, in their 30s or 40s. But the other thing is that they're making decisions uh, that uh, have consequences that they will never live to see, you know? That's actually one of uh, the main arguments. You know, making decisions for changes in the future or, you know, lack of needed change that the coming generations have to deal with and uh, they, you know, they'll be in the ground by then. So seems a little wrong, and I, I can get the point to an extent that you want experienced people, you know, mature people in positions of power, but this is really more about merit, in my opinion. You know, education, qualification, etc., rather than just experience, because... As I said, you can be very experienced, you can have 30 years of experience of being wrong. It's not very helpful, is it? Anyway, I touched on the forbidden topic. I am ritually unclean now because I dare to talk about politics, even just passingly. Oh, <laughs> big mistake. And there's a, there's a reason why I normally avoid that. I want this to mainly be entertaining for people, you know? If you come come home after a hard days of work or let's say you have a really boring job and but you can watch YouTube um, you know I want you to have a good time while you're here and uh, maybe not constantly remind you of the woes of the world you know and especially considering how worked up people get about politics it's not really a good environment. So I, I think it, it takes a certain level of familiarity with a person and with their point of view and everything to really have a good opinion about their opinion, if you know what I'm saying. Because as it is online, it's very easy to jump to conclusions, jump to stereotypical conclusions. I'm a little further with it, but I lost some footage because my card reader decided to crap out and corrupted the files to the point of no return. I tried retrieving them, but the alignment is a little bit off. It's like the, uh, the cross-section I, I made this way. I, I don't really know if you can tell, but uh, relative to this piece, it's a little bit off. Wish I had noticed that earlier, but I'm gonna try to fix that now. Uh, actually, let's go for the X. Here, this also needs to be flattened a little more. This is a really good axe. I did a review of it a while ago. I'm still enjoying it. So, today is very November-like weather. You know, the way I know November. It's, uh, it's kind of chill, but not really terribly cold. And um, it's a little wet. Right now it's really just a bit of a drizzle occasionally. Not that big of a deal. Uh, let's see, where are we at here? Yeah, that looks more in line. Take off a little bit more here. And, uh, and we'll see how far we can get here. I started rambling about the most ridiculous things in the footage I lost, which uh, probably isn't a big loss. <laughs> somehow, I, I don't remember how, but somehow I got on the topic of some of the horrendous things that people on the internet shove into various orifices. <laughs> Sounds about right, huh? That's the kind of stuff that I will sometimes randomly ramble about because it 
for some reason comes to mind. I think there was a reason. I think something led me to it. I don't know what it was, but we probably don't really want to elaborate too much about that. But yeah, you've probably seen that, those memes of people ending up in the ER because they thought it was a good idea to shove, I don't know, a pine branch into their urethra. That was one of the worst things I've seen. It's like, you really have to question the intelligence and the sanity of the species when, when you know, some members <laughs> come up with such ideas. I really don't know what the hell. Uh, better? Like, it, it just astonishes me. I can't imagine for a moment what kind of thought process might be behind that. Like, oh, you know what? This would be a good idea. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, what could go wrong aside from, oh, I don't know, pine needles acting like barbs, maybe? Uh, people. Anyway, um, let's maybe not delve too deeply into that. It's also ran random angry squirrels, as usual. I can't really remove too much more here because we're already get getting kind of thin there. So I think I'm going to have to live with the way it is right now and then adjust further up here because it's still thicker there. And uh, yeah, that's what we got. Oh, I mean, it seems, it seems reasonably flat when it's on there like that. Now, I may be wrong about that. Um, no, this is, this is decently well aligned, I think. This must look weird. Sometimes just good old knife is the way to go. Specialized tools are all good. They're fantastic, in fact, but sometimes what you need is just a knife. Imagining having to do this with stone tools is not, it's not terribly appealing, I gotta say. <laughs> that would take a lot more time and effort. There's something really satisfying about woodworking. I don't know, it's just the, the feeling of slicing those wood shavings and, and all that. Kind of nice. Uh, it's hard to explain, but... I'm sure a lot of you know what I'm talking about. And those who have never done this will just have to take my word for it. It is because I says. Okay. Not bad. Well, there's still... There is a bit of a curvature that I won't really get out. There's really no way around that, but I can at least shape it so that it's halfway even and symmetrical, etc. It's not really necessary, it's just uh, for my personal sense of aesthetics or pedanticism, if you want to put it negatively. I feel like there's a way to put just about every quality in a negative way, you know? You can be thorough or you can be pedantic. There's, uh, there can be a fine line distinguishing the two. Um, or you can be, you know, you can be diligent or you can be a control freak. Like, sometimes there is a bit of gray area in between. You can be disciplined or you can be obsessive. And it's, sometimes it's very easy to, to kind of cross that boundary without even really noticing. Because most people who are, you know, fall into the, I don't know, less well-adjusted <laughs> range, let's put it that way, who, you know, are obsessive or compulsive or whatever, you know, the negative version of positive traits, they would probably generally disagree that they are or do that. Like if you say somebody is being a control freak, they may just be like, no, you're, you're just sloppy. I have to make sure that you do things right because, <laughs> you know, it's you, not me. That's generally how people think. It's always the others. And of course, everybody has different standards. You know, some people take immense pride 
in sitting in front of a computer screen for, you know, eight hours playing a game to be really good at it. And others are like, you're wasting your time, what are you doing, get out, blah, whatever. It's, uh... And you can't really judge objectively. I mean, okay, you could come up with certain criteria. You know, there's definitely a, a point where it becomes simply unhealthy. You know, sitting too long. That's uh, one of the civilization problems. You know, there, our health suffers because we tend to sit quite a lot in front of a screen and don't exercise enough and, you know... Don't get enough sunlight, etc., etc. All of these things. Uh, might I shouldn't be looking at that one. That doesn't matter. Uh, okay, okay. I do like what I'm seeing here. Except this is still kind of bumpy. <laughs> A little bit bumpy. In fact, this is so bumpy that I should probably use the axe here. I remember a couple of times in a video where I referred to something like this as an axe and somebody corrected me and was like, no, that's a hatchet. I mean, you look up the dictionary and it's like, hatchet, it's a type of axe. <laughs> or, you know, it's a tomahawk, it's not an axe. A tomahawk is a type of axe. Like, what are we talking about? But um, people just, some people just really feel the need to correct everything, every little thing. And sometimes it's this this case of, well, you're not necessarily wrong, but you're a bit of a dick, you know, and for no good reason. There we have the thorough versus pedantic again. It's, um, it's really unnecessary to be that freaking anal. I mean, okay, <laughs> coming from the guy who <laughs> overanalyzes... Uh, swords and, and martial arts and movies and video games. I did it again. I'm going against the grain again. Yeah, going against the grain. So edgy. Can't be mainstream. So, yeah, I always find that really weird when people get so... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I gotta be very careful with that. I cut a little bit too deep into it. Uh, when people get so anal <laughs> about fairly trivial things. And again, even if you're right, technically, about it, it's, it's still unnecessary, you know? Uh-oh. Hopefully I can get this worked out without losing too much material there. That was not ideal. Come on. Yes. Okay. Okay, that looks good. All right. Crisis averted. Now, here is the big question. How am I actually going to half the thing? Because with this angle, it it's really more of an adds. So the blade would go this way rather than that way. That would be an axe, this would be an adds. I could try to mount it kind of like that. You know what I mean? Kind of go in here. Oh well. We'll have to see about that. But there's still some cleanup to do here. Let's get rid of this. There we go. Mm -hmm. It's really fantastic to be able to do this. Um, almost any time. <laughs> I say almost because if it's pouring buckets, it's not really a thing. I mean, I can still do it in the workshop, but... Um, and also, of course, time is an issue. Always is. Hmm, rain is picking up a little bit. Still not too bad. And I think the, the GoPro doesn't really mind too much. I don't really want to record in the workshop. It's the lighting is not fantastic for that. I mean, I do plan to upgrade the lights in there to LEDs, which would be way better for recording. So th that would actually be a thing then. Mm, oh, there's a bump. 
Hello, bump. You're looking at me funny. You gotta go. Uh-oh. <laughs> that was a little cut a little too deep again. Okay, there we go. Yep, this is this feels like a tool. <laughs> if it didn't at all at this point, that would be rather sad. Yeah, it's a bit too much of a ridge. I gotta get rid of. I gotta get rid of it. <laughs> the way it's shaped, this could be a club, I suppose. Yeah, that would hurt. But with an axe blade, it's a little more effective. I hate when you go too deep accidentally. And I know that's what she said. Wouldn't it be hilarious if after I put the work into it, I broke it on the first swing? That would be fantastic. <laughs> Probably shouldn't even jinx myself, that might happen. But it really shouldn't. I mean, again, birch is not as as good, as strong and hard as uh, hickory or ash, but it should be decent enough. Mm, getting unpleasant out here. Okay, just in case, <laughs> I'd rather break it now than work more on it. Okay. Not going too hard on it, but yeah, it's not, it's not immediately cracking or anything, so that's good. <laughs> you never know, right? Let's see, hopefully the image quality isn't too terrible with the lighting in here. And I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I mean, cheat, it's not like this is supposed to be a historically accurate reproduction by any means. I wonder what Etsy would think if we could see modern power tools. It must be really hard to comprehend for someone from that time period. Someone from the Middle Ages would be confused enough by power tools, but Stone Age? I mean, damn. Look, the dust collection works pretty well on this thing. It's not a lot on the table. Oh yeah. Hey Bob, what do you think of that? <laughs> He's not impressed. He's got a helmet. Oh, and you probably haven't seen the creepy mask that he's wearing now. Spooky. Yeah. Look at this psychopath. Psycho Bob right there. <laughs> I just noticed it handles pretty well in reverse too. And it's got that little knob there. That could be used as a club. Don't you think, Bob? Where in the great falafel did I put that ax? Uh, being disorganized really sucks. And I've been working on it, or at least <laughs> trying to work on it. <sighs> ADD and organization do not mix terribly well, I can tell you that. Which is unfortunate. What the hell is that? Uh, a random plastic piece with a spring that the previous owner lost or deposited or who knows what. Sometimes I put things in the most random places, like a complete dirt fuzz. Well, the GoPro battery is almost dead, so until it dies, we're just gonna do something a little different. I put it on the hard hat, so I don't know how well aligned it is. Hopefully it's okay. But until it dies, I'm just gonna be using this chainsaw. <laughs> because why not? This still has to be taken care of. So, let's get to it. <laughs> 